Hey YouTube Opinionated Reviewer here bringing you guys a video on iMission Control. It's by Akhil Talani. It's not yet out. This is another tweak preview. It should be out in one of the default repos. Hopefully, if not later today, by tomorrow. So keep an eye out for this one. So yes, it's called iMission Control and it's a combination of Mission Control plus Launchpad for Mac. Now let me start off by saying I do not have a Mac, so I'm only familiar with the features based on the videos that I've watched of Mission Control and Launchpad already. So now let's go ahead and look into the tweaks. So on this first like page that I have here in Mission Control, these are the apps that I currently have running in my background or active in my background. I could go ahead and X to X out whichever apps I want. Let's go ahead and scroll over to the second page. Here you can go ahead and toggle your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, location, and flashlight. I can also go ahead and adjust my volume and my brightness. I could go ahead and compose a quick tweet. Do a quick email. It's going to open up to my email app in the new compose. Take a quick photo. Cancel that out. Do a quick Safari search. So I'm going to have to put in then just hit Google. It should go over. It's going to go over to Safari. So here we have um, song lyrics. So if I'm listening to a song, I want the lyrics. I could just go up here and pull those up. And the last but not least on this page, we have power alert. So I can reboot, respring, safe mode, and power off. And let's just go over to the last page. And in here, you have all the apps that you have on your device. I could go ahead and launch any of the apps. And I could also put my favorite apps right down to the bottom. So you see, I have my Twitter, my messages, Cydia, and my music app. And if I want to launch any of them, I could just tap on them and it's going to open up that app for me. But yeah, that's basically most of the features for iMission Control. Let's go into settings. I'm going to show you how to configure these settings to your liking. So I'm going to go ahead and you scroll down to see iMission Control that you tap on it. And in here, you can set up your activation method. As you guys see, I'm tapping the home button, the volume buttons up and down to activate it. You can double tap to X that out. And here you can select your application. So you just tap here and then you just select what application you want from on your device. You have four different applications for the shortcuts. Those are like bookmark apps. Down here you can go ahead, you can darken the background. So let me just go ahead and tell you, see how dark the background is before it was much lighter than that. So you can see it's a lot lighter now. You can go ahead and do the blur radius depending on how much blur you want to add to it. If you want to do max blur, you can go ahead and do that. Just depends on how you want. You can also do the animation speed. So if you want it to open up a lot slower, you could do that. If you want it to open up fast, you could do that. You see the big difference. If you want to double tap to dismiss, you see me just double tap into dismiss. So you double tap. If you don't, you could just put it in. I think you're going to have to use the home button to um, exit it because it's not going to, you see, it's not going to X out. So you're going to have to use the home button. It's whichever you like. I like double tapping. And that's basically it. So you can see it's a combination of mission control and also launch pad for the Mac or OS X Lion, whichever one. Once again, I do not have a Mac. So yeah, don't eat me off if I make a mistake on the Mac features. This one is called iMission Control. It's not yet out. Should be out in hopefully by tomorrow. It's going to be 99 cents to matter of preference if you want to get it or not. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.